Hey guys, Brain Prey here, and this is the 18th episode of my Mountain Blade Warband Let's Play. In the last episode, we just uh, were fighting, uh, or sorry, we just got to Ravidin, where we're going to start to fight in the tournament, and we were going to visit our lady afterwards. We have to, and so we can dedicate the tournament win to her. So let's join the tournament. We'll place a bet on ourselves, of course, 100 dinars. Uh, we just won a tournament, so it's not going to be as much in here, so the, the odds are less. So let's fight in the round, but we're still going to get plenty of money for winning. Oh god. We need to knock out at least one other person, so hopefully our moronic partners don't get knocked out before that. Good. I knocked one of them out, so it's fine. I'll move on to the next round no matter what now. Eat crap, Lizet. I hate you. Hope you die. Yeah, that's right, Jeremus. I hate my partners. They're always fighting against me in the tournament. What meanies. Eat crap. I know it's one of my partners because he's black. Pretty sure. Watch him be like a hired blade or something. I think... Yeah, that's right, Nizar, you idiot. Don't fight against me. I'm your captain. Or whatever. Alright, we're going to paste another 100 dinar bet on ourselves so we can get it up to like 900 dinars, what our pot is. Let's fight in the next round. We're in tier 2. Oh no, one of our guys went that way. Oh well. Hopefully I can knock one of these ladies off. I want to get on your horse later. Okay, good. Die, die, die. Die, greenie. Oh, that's my... That's not my teammate. Good. Fight the yellow. Ha! Okay, we knocked out two guys, so no matter what, we'll move on to the next round. Three guys, actually. Oh well. It's alright, guys. We'll move on to the next round regardless, because we knocked out two other enemies. Place the bet on ourselves again. Go ahead. We're on tier three, so we can still move on as long as we take out two enemies. So let's see who's winning here. I think the greenies are winning. I don't want to be in this middle of this brawl. I think this is going to be bad. Come on, come on. Let me let me hit him. What is this happening? Oh, the blue guy. Oh, wow, we're actually pretty, doing pretty good. Oh, good. We knocked out one of them. And we've only... We're down to one last burgundy guy over here. Hopefully I can stab him in the back. Looks like it's I can. Good, we got them all. So a hired blade, mercy sword, and are my teammates. So I think I have to fight against them now. So hopefully they're not too fierce. Let's find the next round. Oh good, uh, I'm on a horse. Okay, so it's four teams of one. Cool, they knocked out one. Now hopefully these guys will knock each other out because I really don't want to have to fight either of them. Oh, that guy's a Lancer. I hope he gets knocked out fast because I hate... Lancers can be a real trouble. Like, they can knock you out in one hit. Oh, he's on his foot now. It's okay. It's just one-on-one. -on -one. We can defeat him. Okay, let's get off our horse. This is stupid. Okay, let's fight, dog. You can't beat me. Ha! That's right. Stupid hired blade. I'm gonna hit you in the corpse. All right, we're in tier five. We're gonna place another bet on ourselves. Go ahead. The bet we're not gonna win that much of a pot, really, because we just won a tournament. Oh no, is this Lance? Please don't have a Lance too. Oh god, if we die, this is horrible. He could he could one shot us with that Lance. Lances are like vicious. If we don't hit him, oh good, we hit him the first time. Oh god, if he hits us with that Lance at full speed, it's vicious. He'll one shot us. Ah, I did one hand one hundred damage to his horse. Whatever. Oh, he blocked. How dare you. Ah, 20 damage. Good. He should be almost cooked. Oh, I missed him. Oh. He blocked. Ha! I knocked him out. Sweet. I believe that puts us in the last round. We are in the last round, of course. We're going to fight. We're going to put another 100 in ours on ourselves. Probably up to about 2,500, you know. Not too much. 
The odds go down each time. And you're on foot, you loser. I'm gonna just mess you up from up here. You cannot defeat me. I'm just gonna mash this click. Yeah! We are King Rhino and we are the best. You cannot defeat me. Okay, so we made about 2,000 dinars. Not too much, you know. But hey, we, you know, we get to visit our lady here. Um... Oh, the guards won't let us in, but the, a nurse came and she let us in the back way or something. Okay, that's fine, but... Alright, let's talk to our lady. How are you, my lady? Let's talk. We have increased our reputation from 14 to 15 with her. That's fine. I'd like to dedicate another tournament success to you. It's always flattering, she says. Huh. Shut up. You liked it the first time, didn't you? Alright, let's do some poetry. Um, Which poetry should we do? We'll, we'll do the first one, of course. Um, oh, she doesn't like it. That's sad. Oh, well. We can always, uh... Do we have a future together? Okay, that's fine. Uh, I just asked that because sometimes she'll be like, Oh, well, I'm actually looking at a bunch of other guys. And then you gotta go, like, duel them. So, luckily that didn't happen. Oh, Wandering Bard. Maybe he can teach us a poem. Sure, teach me that one. That's fine. I'll, I'll pay you 300 dinars. Just learn it. Okay, we gotta wait a little bit while we learn the poem. Okay, good. Now we're back. Okay, we've learned the poem. We'll go to the marketplace real fast. Trade with the goods merchant, see if we can sell any of this stuff. And we actually need some food real quick. So let's get some bread. Oh, now they have grain, of course, after I finished the quest. If you guys didn't see, I finished the quest where I had to bring a bunch of grain to these guys, and they, they had no... There was no grain anywhere. I had to go, like, all over the universe to find grain. It's horrible. Okay, well, that looks like we've got enough grain. Let's actually go to the streets, because I want to talk to the guildmaster, because I know these guys are indifferent to me now, so perhaps I can actually afford to purchase a brewery here. Now that I've won the tournament twice in a row here, they actually like me instead of hating me like they did earlier. So let's talk. Hello, Mr. Guildmaster. I'd like to buy land for Enterprise. Uh, okay, good. We could find the land we need. Um, we're going to make ale. Where's ale? Because breweries are always good. They they seem to always give us profit. Okay, so that's another 127 dinars. Sweet, here's the money. Alright, let's leave. Okay, we're going to leave. Um, wait, whoa, what's all these? Oh, we, our brewery. Okay, I was just wondering why the list was longer than usual. Anyway. Let's look at our inventory. We have 3,000 dinars. We're good. Let's ride out here. We'll try to see if we can find some bandits or something cool to do in this the rest of this episode, of course. Let's go to Karindi, see if there's any bad guys fighting around here. Oh, we can recruit some volunteers. Good. Let's look at our party. How are we actually doing? We're 64 or 64. Good. And our, one of our recruits is ready to be upgraded. I can't believe I didn't notice that earlier. Let's run over to Kura because we actually want to see if there's a ransom broker. We need to, we need to sell off some of these prisoners we got. So let's visit our tavern. Marmid is here. Uh, who's that? I don't, I don't care about you, Marmid. I think that's another hero. We, we've got plenty of heroes right now. We don't need any more, really. Okay, Kuros. No, no ransom. So let's go over to Kudan, see if there's a ransom broker. And on the way, we'll stop at Slex to see if they're invaded by bandits or something. Uh, no. And we'll talk at, stop at Trissimer, see if they're invaded by bandits as well. No, they're good. Okay, so we actually had to level up in our party, Yerma, the most useless person in the world. She leveled up. Let's talk about your skills. Um, I guess we can put another point in inventory into intelligence, and we should. I heard that actually, you can if the m more people that you have in your group that do training, the more experience they get per day. So we might as well give her some training ability. You know, why does we we don't have to increase it too much, but it will add to our training per day, and we'll increase her skill in one-handed weapons by ten. Okay, never mind, I don't care. Sorry. Okay, good. Let's check out our report, our budget report. How are we doing? Okay, we're going to be... Oh, Shellis, finally! They've started back, they have got back on their feet, and now they can actually give us some rent. Um, <clears throat> the net exchange will be only 51 dinars for our entire party, which is huge, for at least by our standards, it's huge. So let's run, let's try to chase down some Tundra Bandits, because I want to get some good loots, you know? We'll chase these guys, because they're over here running. And maybe we can help out this guy here, Krakask. 
Oh, he's, he's given up the chase. I shall not do so. We shall chase them till the end of the earth. I will catch you one day, bandits. You cannot run forever. I hate you, bandits. You're running forever. Oh, we, oh we'll help the, the Jarl. And we'll charge the enemy. Just because you know what happens when you send them by yourself. And since it's the Jarl, you know, we can always increase our reputation with the opposite faction. It doesn't hurt our current faction. Or so, I think. I, I, if it, that backfires on me, uh, don't quote me on it, you know? <laughs> Alright, we can see little dots off in the distance. That means it's enemies. So let's open fire. Of course, our guy runs in here by himself, and he's probably going to get killed in like five seconds. Oh, wow. They're actually hitting me pretty hard over here with their throwing weapons. How am I not how am I not missing here? Or how am I missing here? I don't understand. Ah, oh, finally. I killed one of them. Oh, I killed another one. Huh. I'm pretty awesome, I guess. Oh, and here come our troops. Look at those look at those people that are supposed to be on our side. We're charging in like crazy, and they're just like, oh, let's get in line. That's what that's what we should do, we should get in line. Oh wow, I'm really stuck up, huh? I look like a porcupine. Look at all my those things on my horse. Huh. How did I not shoot you? Yeah, we did it. Hopefully we didn't lose any men, really. Good, we won the battle. Um, yes, no casualties for our... Oh, no casualties, just wounded. It's fine. Yes, thanks for your help, stranger. We haven't properly met. We've increased our reputation with these guys from 0 to 1, and with this in, with this particular guy from 0 to 1. And we'll capture a toggle bandit and take our share of the loots. Some nice shields here. Oh, is that resistance? That's pretty good shield. We should change that out for one of our guys' shields because our guys have really sucky shields. Um, yeah. Okay, very good. They're working together. That's nice. Okay, so... Oh, Bracha, how are you doing? Why don't you hate me? Why do you hate me? <clears throat> um, the kingdom of Vegers consider Boyer Harsh to be quarrelsome and deserve a liability to our cause. Um... We worry that he picks fights with other lords, leaving us divided. But we... People know your views. Oh, but if we denounce him... Oh, we could be challenged to a duel. That's cool. I like that idea. Cool, we'll do that. Just anything to do to increase our opinion with Bracha, because he is pretty... He's the uh, brother of the woman that we would like to marry. So that's really going to be helpful if we can increase our opinion with him any way we can. So I really don't care if we're going to have to lose opinion with Boyer Harsh. Um, so where is he? He's Lord of Ulsum. That sounds like a little place. I don't think that's important. Yeah, that's like one little province. So let's go to him. Or here. Let's go to see where where is he. We're looking for... Okay, Boyer Harsh. So we're going to ask this lady here if she knows where Boyer Harsh is. I'd like to know where Boyer Harish is. Is Harish, 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 where did I miss him? I think I did. Harris. No, it's Harish. I'm pretty sure it's Harish. If it's not, if it's Harris, I'm gonna be so stupid. Or at least feel stupid. That's, is it, is it really, is it really Harris? Because I was pronouncing it Harish. Okay, he's at Dermog Castle. I must beg my leave, madame. Uh, let's leave and check out our notes. Who are we actually looking for? Harish. I can't believe I called it, was pronouncing it something else. Whatever. Where he was actually at... Last time we saw him, he was close to Tissimer. Oh! Is that close here? Where's Tissimer? Uh, let's run over to Tissimer. It's, I believe it's down... Right here. Right here. Right there it is. So let's, let's look where we are. Where are we? They're right there. Is that Barry Harish? I bet you... No. We're going to stop off at Kura right here, because... Who's this? Is this Harish? No, that's Ralcha. 
stop, stop off with Kurash. We'll go to the castle real quick and ask the lady here if she uh, has seen Boyar Harish. Harish, whatever. I don't know. I don't even know anymore. I've been pronouncing it wrong too much. Um, It starts with an H. That's all I need to know. Harish. There we go. He's close to Tissimer. I must beg my leaves, madame. Let's leave. Alright guys, I think that's going to about do it. In the next episode, we're definitely going to find him, catch him up with him, and hopefully denounce him, duel him, you know, whatever to we can do really to increase our reputation with Bracha so we can marry his sister. I want to thank you guys again for watching. Spring and pray out.